Hey fellow traders now, welcome to a new trading video. If you're new to our channel, make sure to hit the subscribe button. Okay, we record a lot of our trading videos to help you become a profitable trader. Okay, so in today's video, I'm going to be talking about how do you predict the high and low for the day uh, before the market even starts. Okay, basically at the beginning of the day. Okay, now just a disclaimer. Okay, this method is not entirely foolproof but it gives you a good reference okay so the right way to use this uh, strategy this trick okay is actually to just use it as a reference okay so as i always say you still need a um, full blown strategy you still need a step-by-step -step guide right a step-by-step -step system that uh, plays the odds in your favor when you are trading okay so this is just a trick that you can use okay so right now what we're looking at is uh, we are at uh, tradingview.com okay tradingview.com is a website which you can actually uh, use the charts you can actually see the charts online for free okay so the first thing that you want to do is you want to use the in indicator called ATR okay let me just uh, show you how I um, get the indicator over here Okay, the first thing you want to do is uh, you want to click at uh, indicators and strategies. Okay, then you want to type uh, average true range. Okay, so ATR stands for average true range in short. Okay, so uh, let me just... Okay, I, I have it over here. Okay, so um, length, it refers to how many days, how many candles you want to reference. Okay, I think a good... Uh, starting point for you would be the default which is uh, 14 so basically you're looking at the uh, past 14 candles okay so that means if you are looking at the uh, daily chart you're looking at the past 14 days if you are looking at the h4 chart then you are looking at the past four h past 14 h4 candles okay smoothing is just the kind of like the average uh, simple moving average okay what kind of moving average you want okay if you are new I suggest that uh, you stick the SMA. SMA means simple moving average. Okay. Of course, you can also adjust the uh, style and stuff like that, right? So I'm not going to uh, touch much on this. Okay. So now, how do you read the uh, ATR? Okay. So before you can predict the uh, high and low of uh, the day, uh, the first thing you need to know is you need to understand how to read the ATR because you're going to use the ATR to help you predict uh, this. Okay, so pretty straightforward. You can see over here that uh, the ATR is, I'm not going to move the mouse because otherwise the, uh, the ATR moves, but you can see right now that the ATR is at uh, 0 0.01100. Okay, so how do you interpret this? Okay, very simple. That means that the average daily range uh, for pound dollar is 110 pips okay straightforward 110 pips you just ignore the, the front zeros and uh, you ignore the last zero at the back okay because uh, it is 0 0.01100 is the equi equivalent of 110 pips okay so that's how you uh, interpret the uh, ATR okay so what you do right is you identify a level the the previous day close okay now the previous day close will be the same as the uh, the current days uh, open right because for the day to conclude the opening price and the closing price should be the same or if not almost the same okay most of the time in forex a uh, price doesn't get but just take the previous day uh take the previous day's uh closing price Okay, so this is a bearish candle. So the opening price is here and the closing price is here. Okay, if you do not know how to work, read candlestick patterns, right? Uh, I have a day trading guide that gives you a quick cheat sheet. That gives you a, a guide to read uh, candlestick patterns. So make sure you grab that uh, if you have not downloaded. Okay, the link will be uh, placed in the description. Okay, so the first step is you want to identify the close of the previous day, which is over here. Okay, this is the close. So in this case, it's a 1.2442. Okay, so earlier on, I said that your ATR is actually 110 pips. So what you want to do is you just want to add uh, 110 pips up. Okay, so 110, 
pizza. Um, sorry, let me just uh, okay. Or rather, you can do it this way as so. Well. Uh, just want to help you calculate it better. Okay, so hundred and ten pips up. Just a moment. So you can see over here. I'm just trying to measure uh, how much is hundred and ten pips. This is hundred point four pips. So I want hundred and ten pips. Okay, so about uh four two. Oh, you can actually do this, so yeah. Okay, so let me just show you a shortcut. Uh, you can take this position. Uh, let me just repeat this. Okay, I just want to be very clear about this. Okay, just place it here. Okay, take the position. Okay, then double click this. Just take the take profit as your... Uh, or take profit as the... Uh, oh, sorry. Should be like that. Okay, then uh, this one, the same thing. Okay, so what you're essentially doing is you're trying to measure out the, uh, the range for the day. Okay, so just uh, make sure that it reflects, right? Uh, I put in 1100. Okay, the reason why there's one more zero behind is because uh, this is in ticks, not in pips. Okay, but if you want to, you know, you want an easy way to remember it uh, because your ATR is in ticks, so you can see over here uh, on the bottom left, 0 0.01100 which means 1100 takes then you just click here okay you put 1100 make sure you click the tab button okay i'm using a macbook so for me it's tab uh, for windows it might be different okay you just want to make sure that the price is updated okay and you just click okay so what you have is that uh, you have the day high okay and then you have the day low over here okay so this is just one of the ways of uh uh, getting a uh, day high and day day low okay uh, projected okay guys this is a projected day high and day low it's not a it's not a for sure okay please please understand that uh, this is just a projection okay so you can you can also use a you know calculator to take this price which is a uh, you know um 1.24429 you plus 110 pips and you minus 110 pips and you plot your level okay so that's how you get the, uh, the so-called the projected range for today. So you might ask, how, how, how will I use this? You know, um, how I might use this is, let's say I'm buying, then I might want to take profit, you know, if I'm just doing a uh, day trading, right? Meaning that I want to exit before the day ends, then what I'll do is I will uh, just make sure to uh, take some profits when price uh, hits this level. Okay, I might even look for a shorting opportunity to shut it down. Okay, the same goes for um, if you know uh, price drops instead. Okay, I might shut it down. Okay, and if it comes here, I might take some profit or I might even look for a long opportunity to buy it up. Okay, so that's how you use it. Okay, so one more disclaimer regarding this uh, average true range indicator. Okay, one more disclaimer is that this average true range indicator should be only be used on the uh, daily time frame. Okay, you can see over here that we are on the daily time frame. Okay, you do not want to be using this indicator on the H4 or H1. Okay, because you are trying to project the daily range. Okay, so one, I think, apologies, I think I forgot to mention how this indicator works. So um, earlier on, I just briefly talked to you about uh, this, uh, this over here. The settings but i didn't actually say uh how, how how they get this value okay sorry about that just let me clarify okay i just want to make sure that uh i'm very clear about uh the way i do you know present this video to you so what it means is that you are just taking the entire range of the candle so for example uh let's take a look at this candle for example okay you are just calculating the average range of this candle okay the whole range so you take the uh, high which is a uh, 1.26432 and you take the low which is 1.24286 you just minus you get the uh, the average true range for the day okay and what you do is uh you get this point you get this point you get this point you get the last 14 points which will be one two three four and so on okay and then it com computes into a nice uh, smooth smoothing average okay um you do not want to be looking at this i mean it, it I mean, you can, but for this video, if you're trying to predict uh, 
um, you know, the high, the projected high and projected low for the day, then uh, you do not need to bother about the shape of this uh, shape of this this graph. Okay, you can use it like in the case of this kind, like to predict that okay, uh, volatility is increasing. I can be more aggressive in uh, you know, my take profits. Right, that's something that you can use. But uh, just for this video, right, I want you to focus on uh, the actual value itself. Okay, the actual value which for today is actually actually a uh, hundred and ten pips. Right, you come over here, you plot, uh, you find the previous candle close, and then you add hundred and ten pips up. You add hundred and ten pips down. Okay, that will give you the range. Okay, of course you want to use it with a uh your own trading strategy. Okay, this is just a tip. Okay. Now, if you're new to trading and you need a trading guide, you need a trading strategy that works, you want to use a trading strategy that works in tandem with uh, this concept, then make sure you download a copy of my day trading guide, okay? I have a copy of it, uh, in the link, right? The, the link to the, the, the day trading guide is in the description. So make sure you check that out. Okay, if you're new, make sure you hit subscribe because uh, I create videos like this almost every single day to give value to you, to help you become a profitable trader. Okay, so that's it for this video. I'll see you in the next video.